So to change the alt tags um, or the alternative text tags on your pictures on WordPress, go to your WordPress dashboard and go to media. And that will open up your library. So you can see that our library is opening now. And then that way you'll have all of the images that you have got on your website, which is great. And then to change the alt description on one of these, you just click on the website. Now, the idea of alternative text, what it used to be and what you know Yoast wanted you to do in this alternative text bit was basically put the same keyword as what you have put on the website um, on that particular page that that image is on. Um, that's not how it works anymore. So basically you have to describe what is in the image. So the word hosting with um, in pale blue with some website style coding behind. Now, that is the alternative text. So if somebody um, who is visually impaired is looking at it, they will be able to visualize the image from that. If we was to put alternative text in there and just put, for example, low cost websites, that wouldn't describe to them. So basically what you need to do in your alternative text is to describe the image. Now, if you can put your keyword in it, that would be great. But if you can't, don't try and force it in. So, for example, you know, this, this website is all about, ironically, websites. This is my husband. This is Dan. Um, I can't put the word website into anything to describe this. So I could say white male um, standing with his arms crossed in front of him wearing a beige sweater now that describes dan i mean it doesn't i could also put in the word you know a bit moody um but that is a, a visual description of this image there's no way that i could put website into there uh, i could possibly put website creator at a push but it would really really be cramming it in so just make sure that, you know, it's a description of the image. And most of the images that you will have on your website anyway will be a, basically, depending on what you do, will be something related to the page on your website anyway. So, for example, I used to have a wedding cake website. All of the pictures were of wedding cakes. So if I was to, you know, to describe the wedding cakes, I would get the keywords in there quite a bit. But this is the easiest way to go through and change all of your images. Um, all of these are for blog images, uh, for web design. So actually, I would go through and see. Um, so that's actually the blog name. So you can see that I need to go through and change all of these. Um, I can go through and change these to describe these to what they are, but also get in some of the key words. Um, and it's easier to get in designing a user-friendly website interface into this image than it is to obviously a picture of my husband. So I hope that helps. I hope that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's how that's the easiest way to do it is just to go into your actual um, library, your media library, because that's where you'll find all of the images. And then actually you'll be less tempted to try and stuff keywords in them because if you don't know what pages they're actually on, you'll be less tempted to try and shove just random keywords in there.